with JB Moro, go and get your bag. We coming in hot. Oh, my bad. What's up, my brace face bays, my brace face family, boys and girls. Sorry, I'm trying to get this chair to move on carpet, but it's not moving on carpet. Anyway, we back with another mm, advice video. Yeah, mm -hmm. don't mind my heating pad, y'all. I'm going through it. These cracks is hell. Anyways, so today, hold on, let me. Yeah, so hold on, let me clip y'all in. Let me clip y'all in. Today we're gonna be talking about. So a lot of y'all like the last video on Instagram. Y'all probably haven't seen the whole thing on YouTube, but like I said, I'm still starting with this page, so we still trying to get everything together. But I know a lot of y'all on Instagram liked my last video when I was giving advice about relationships and long distance. Y'all was even agreeing with some stuff that I was saying, like the little clip that I posted. So I said I was going to do another topic today or days down the line. And today's topic is about men. Somebody told me to do uh, um give advice on men. And I'm going to tell what I know and I'm going to tell what I feel that I know when it comes to men. And I'm not going to sit there and just bash the men. Like, I'm not. I'm going to keep it fair. Women, I'm, a, I'm not siding with no. I'm not siding with women. I'm not siding with men. I'm going to give both genders fairness. I'm not about to sit there and be like, oh, man, just this, man, just that. No, I'm about to keep it real. Number one, this is right off right before we talk about anything else. Number one, no man wants a bum-ass female. Simple as that. We ain't saying bum-ass female like poor and stuff like that no not like that we saying bum ass female as in has nothing going for themselves just like how females don't want men to be bums like want them to have money and stuff like that it's the same thing when it comes to men but today we talking about the men we ain't talking about the females but still same thing so yeah no man wants no female that has nothing going for themselves that has no morals has no goals has none of that i'm just throwing that out there right now ladies so get y'all notepad whatever some girls because the girl that asked me about this i guess she want advice on dudes so the girls that is trying to get advice on how to figure these men out that's the number one thing right there if you trying to get a dude a good man too number one you need to have something going on with yourself first girl something going on you can't be the type you can't be a gold digger you can't be looking for a man that just got money and you don't have no money boo you need to have your own money because if that's the case, you just want that man for his money. You don't want him for nothing else he can offer. You don't want him for, like, his time, his heart, his energy. You don't want none of that. You just want his money. So you need to have your own thing going on. Because at the end of the day, if you have your own thing going on, no man could sit there and say, oh, you just want me for money. You just using me for money. Because no, boo, I got my own thing going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's the number one thing. Number two, men have feelings, too. I'm letting y'all ladies know that right now. Some ladies out here don't take men's feelings. Like, some females don't take men's feelings into consideration. Like, we'd be expecting the men to take our feelings into consideration, but sometimes we don't take their feelings into consideration because we the females and we feel like, oh, my God, or y'all feel like, I don't be feeling like that. Or y'all be feeling like, oh, my God, well, I'm the girl, so I feel like that I should always, like, should always be about me. No, men go through stuff too. Men have feelings too. They just don't express it to females because they're stronger. Like, they don't tell us. They're men, so they keep it to themselves. They just hold it in. But if they really got a down female, I'm sorry if I'm moving my mic, y'all. If they really got a down female, like for real, for real, that'll just sit there and listen to them and talk to them, I promise you, you're going to have that man on lock, baby. I'm letting you know that right now. You got to do the same thing. If he's showing you that energy, if he's listening to you and stuff like that, you better listen to him back. Because if you're not listening to what he got to say, why do you feel the need that he should listen to what you got to say? No. You need to reciprocate the energy. You need to sit there, hear that man, hear what he got to say. Even if he not telling you, you can sit there and be like, what's wrong? It's something that I would need to work on that because sometimes I would get in my feelings and I would never know what my partner has going on. So I'll be worried about me. So I would have to work on that. And I'm saying, I'm pretty sure other females out there will have to work on that too. Like, okay, yeah, I need to push what I got going on to the side real quick, figure out what's going on with him. I don't need to always sit there and be like, 
well, you ain't doing this, you ain't doing that, you ain't listening to me, like, whoop de whoop Because ain't no man just cool. It's always something going on with them, always something going on. You ain't just going to see no man just playing out half. No, it's always something with a man. Just like how it's always something with a female. It's going to always be something with a man. They just don't say it. We express it, they don't express it. So if you listening to that man and if you catering to him, like doing certain stuff for him too, that's also what's going to have your man. Like you're going to have your man on lock. You got to do for him what you want him to do for you, basically. So like if y'all don't understand what I mean, if you a female, our job, what I feel our job is, is some of y'all girls are going to be like, no, that's not our job. That's wifey materials. That means y'all not ready for to grow up yet. Just know you're a female. So your job, if you in a relationship, in a cool relationship, like actually your man ain't doing nothing, like he actually treating you right, your job is to sit there, cook for that man, clean, no matter who house y'all over, clean up, um, cater, listen, be there for him. I ain't gonna sit there and say buy stuff because you don't want no man to sit there and think that you trying to buy him. You don't want to feel like you don't want him to feel like that. But just basically cater to him. Do your job as the girlfriend. Because if you ain't doing your job as a girlfriend, if you just sitting around like a nigga, he gonna be like, what are you like? What are you even around for? Like, why am I even with you and you ain't doing nothing? I ain't gonna. I ain't saying you gotta be the perfect girlfriend. Like you gotta do everything this man is telling you. But like, do your job as a female for real, for real. Because at the end of the day, if you doing your part and he doing his part, y'all should be cool. I feel that it is the man's job to like when it come to paying for stuff. I feel like that is their job. Like I ain't gonna say they gotta pay for everything, but like if we the one that's catering. I feel like the stuff, like, we plan the trips. Like, y'all girls understand what I'm saying. We plan the trips. They pay for it. They just come participate and pay for everything. I feel like that's how it should go. But I'm not saying pay for everything. Like, females, y'all need to understand this. It could be sometimes y'all go out on a date. Y'all ain't got to sit there and expect y'all man to pay every time. You can pay sometimes. You can sit there and pay something. Like, you ain't got to, oh, but he the nigga, though. He got to pay. He got to buy everything because he really don't have to buy shit. He really don't have to buy nothing for you, boo. I'm letting you know that right now. That's why I always say, that's why I say in the beginning, you need to have your own money. Because if you expecting a man to buy you stuff, you don't want to be that type of girl. A man likes an independent woman. Did I say that in the beginning? I don't know if I did. Oh, no, I said, I think I said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying it again. A man like an independent woman. He like a woman that don't need for shit, but still will want him, want to be by your side, basically. Like, he don't want no girl that's just always asking for something. He wants you to sit there and fit, like be like, I got it. But you could still be right here if I need you. Like, if I want your moral support, you could be right here. But he, they also want a female to be like, I got it. Like, I'm cool. I can pay for my own stuff. They don't want no female that's begging. Can you give me this? Can you give me that? They don't want no female like that. And I'm pretty sure you don't want no dude like that. Females don't want no dude that's sitting there always asking for stuff. Because then girls get to saying, these dudes is bums and stuff like that. What do y'all think men think about y'all? If y'all always asking them for money. I'm pretty sure they thinking the same thing. Like, sure, you always ask me for some money. Like, you a bum. But then females get in their feelings. Like, I ain't never been no bum. I ain't never been broke. Baby girl, you always asking for some money. What is that telling you? Like. Come on now. You need to get it together. Um, another thing about dudes, so it's the it's the basically being independent with yourself. Um, doing your part or your job as a girlfriend. If you're in a relationship, doing your part as a girlfriend. Man like that. Man also don't want no female that act like a nigga. I'm letting y'all know that right now. Some females probably be like, I'm not acting like this because I Cause of no nigga, I'm not. I don't want no nigga, so that's why I'm acting like. No, 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 no. If you are in a relationship and you trying to act like a nigga, it's not gonna work out. Cause no nigga wanna sit there and date a girl that's acting like a dude. They're gonna be like, "What is you doing?" Like some females be out here wearing um shiesty mask and stuff, and like 
having guns and flexing guns on Instagram. I ain't seen no man, like, I haven't seen no man flexing no gun on Instagram in so long. I'm seeing females do that now. Like, it's females that's acting like boys out here. Like, I may dress like a tomboy, but I don't be acting like a boy. Like, I act like, I'm act, I act like a lady. I just dress like a tomboy. Like, <laughs> but yeah, though, no dude want a girl that acts like a dude because they're going to look at you like, you supposed to be my girlfriend, but you acting like me. Like, what are you doing? You you out here showing flashing guns, flashing money, flexing money like this. But you supposed to be my girlfriend. That's not ladylike. So if you in a relationship and you acting like that, I ain't saying you got to change for that man. But baby, listen, I'm letting you know right now. You try to act like, you try to be the masculine one in the relationship, it's not going to work out with it unless you just got a soft boyfriend that just sit there and like that stuff. And he just the feminine one. But yeah, you're going to have to switch something up. Because I'm letting you know right now, men do not like that. They don't like, and some females like, I don't care what man like. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, cool. Then you could stay single. You this video doesn't apply to you then. But the ones that do actually care about their man or are trying to figure out, oh, I want to know what man this, what man like, what like what's tea for real. Then yeah, this video applies to you. So I'm just letting you know, all that females being hood and stuff like that, baby girl, that gotta go out the window. You need to start acting ladylike because I ain't see it's a lot of girls. It's real slim now seeing some actual girls like wearing heels and stuff like that, and actually dressing like a lady. Like I said, it's all girls that's dressing like dudes now. I ain't counting me because, like I said, I'm a lady, but I always I've been dressed like this since I was little. So this one doesn't apply to me. But yeah, men also don't like that. Um, men also love when you just like. Let them be the masculine one. Like, let them be the man in a relationship. That basically applies to what I just said, though. Like, if you let them, if you're trying to sit there and tell them to shut the fuck up, unless y'all argue and they tell you to shut the fuck up first, okay, then I understand. But if you just telling them to shut the fuck up and trying to tell them what to do, maybe that ain't going to work out either. Because y'all just going to be arguing and the relationship ain't going to last. And then you're going to think, oh, it's him, it's him, it's him. No, no. You tried to be the man, and that man put you in your place, and you ain't like that. Now y'all doing this, y'all. Now y'all doing that. So much going on. But yeah, though, just sit there and I ain't saying sit there like he telling you all this stuff, but just don't come off as a nigga. That's what I'm just trying to say, y'all. Don't don't come off as a nigga. Cause if you come off as a nigga to an actual nigga, like a real nigga, not no feminine nigga. If you actually try to come off as a nigga to a real nigga, they're going to look at you like, what is you doing? <laughs> like, you're not about to win this battle with me. Come on now. Sit down somewhere. So I really don't have much advice for men, though. Like, <laughs> that's all that I will really know when it comes to men. Like, just, it ain't really much to say about them. For real, for real. <laughs> like, man, just like when you listen to them, when you cater to them, we just going to review everything. When you listen, when you cater to them, when you do your job as a girlfriend, do your part. And just being there for them. That's really what they really care about. If you out here and oh, another thing, another thing. Man don't like when you are outside type of female. If you trying to be in a relationship, but you the party type of female, that man is not going to take you serious. And don't sit there and get mad at him and be like, oh, he just wasn't ready for me. No, you in a relationship now. You need to respect how he feel. If he don't want you going out, and you know what you're doing when you're going out, if you're going out and going to parties, shaking your ass and being a hoe, and he don't want you doing that, you sit there and be like, oh, he controlling, he this, he that. No, that's just called respect. He don't want you out here being a hoe. If you his girl, if you his, then he don't want you doing that. That's called respect. But if you just the type that ain't mature and just sit there and be like, oh, well, I can't do nothing. I can't go out to and party with my friends. I can't do this. Then you maybe you shouldn't be in a relationship because no man want that girl out. And no man also want that girl like in panties and bra on social media either. They don't like that. They don't. Like, you think showing it to the world. Me, I used to wear Ethicas, but I wasn't in a real, like, I wasn't back then. I used to do that back then, back then, when I wasn't really dealing with stuff. But now that I got in a relationship, I actually, like, started putting clothes on. You might see me here and there wearing my ethical bra, but, like, panties and bra making videos? 
what do you need to do that for? Because that's just basically you just posting that for other motherfuckers to see at this point. Like, why are you sitting there? Like, I feel like that's attention seeking, low key. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not against the girls. I'm not against the boys. I just feel like that. Like, if you're in a relationship and you actually like doing videos, I ain't talking about ethical bra. I'm talking about actual bra and panties. Not boxes, like, not the ethical types. But even still with that, some dudes don't even like that. But actually doing that, taking pictures and posting that and knowing you in a relationship and got a nigga and knowing it's going to be dudes commenting hard eyes, talking about I want you, I want to fuck you, this and that. That's low-key disrespectful because you won't want him putting his print on the internet. You're going to be mad as hell. You're going to be like, oh, he a hoe, he friendly, he this and that. He just want to be seen. What you think you doing, girl? <laughs> like, no, for real, what you think you doing? If you think... Him putting his print on the internet or posting videos of him looking cute, you're going to be mad at that because you're going to be like, what, what is he trying to do? What is he trying to be seen for? You're doing the same thing. Don't just say, oh, I'm posting it because I just like the pictures. No, it's out of the respect of your man, out of the relationship, because you wouldn't want him doing the stuff you're doing, basically. You, you wouldn't want that. You know you're going to be mad. So you might as well just respect it, just like with the outside thing. You know you won't want him going to parties, going behind girls, dancing behind girls, because you're going to be mad. You're going to say he's friendly. You wouldn't want that. It's just the respect that comes with it. That's all it is for us. It was really not that hard. I'm saying it's not that hard for me because I was never an outside type of female anyway. I don't even have female friends. I don't. I have a few friends, and that's from a long, long time ago. And I don't even hang out with them for real. Like. If I was to, we would probably go to the mall or something. We ain't going to no party. Y'all, I've never been to no party. Like, for real, I don't play that. I stay in the house. And then on top of that, all my stuff is here. I, everything is here. Nobody else is in this house. So I enjoy my company. That's why I'm so cool with, like, just chilling in my room. So, like, my partner ain't worried about none of that because I'm in a house. He's in a house. Don't have to worry about that at all. So. It's easy for me. The females that actually like going out, going out with their friends and doing all that other stuff, your relationship ain't going to last if you like doing that. Because if your man is a stay-at-home person on the game, not doing nothing at all, actually not doing nothing, you know your man not doing nothing, but you still decide like, oh, I want to go out and be with friends, you going to be looking salty if he be like, okay, cool, you go out, I'm going to go out too. I'm going to go out with my boys. <laughs> you know it's over when he say he's going out with his boys. Then you're going to be like, what you going out with them for? Like, why you need to go out with them? Why you feel the need? He was telling you not to go out, so why do you feel the need to ask him questions when he going out with his homeboys? I will let mine go out because I trust mine. I ain't going to sit there. I'm not the type to sit there and be like, oh, no, I don't like your homeboys. I don't want them. I don't like what they be doing. I'll be like, you want to go? Go ahead. If you do something, that's you messing it up. That You chose to mess that up. So I don't really be tripping. I ain't the type of girl to sit there. I don't even have a problem with the, uh, his homeboys. I don't mind. I'll be like, you want to, I encourage him to go. I'll be like, go ahead. You need to go hang out with them. Like, you always in the house. Go hang out with them. I literally encouraged him to do that once. I said, go hang out with them. Like, I don't mind. I'm going to just be here recording videos, recording TikToks, and take a nap. What I literally did. I wasn't sitting there blowing his phone. Where you at? Where did da 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 whoop de whoop Like, no. Another thing. Men don't also, like, when they not doing nothing and you keep hounding them about, like, oh, you cheating, you this, you that, and you know they ain't cheating, like, you just, I, I get you hurt from the past, girl, but if you know they ain't cheating, who knows, though? You never know. Because some girls, they be having an intuition, so I can't really blame the females for that one. But don't sit there and always hound him and be like, oh, you was cheating? I know you was cheating. Just tell me if you will cheat. Don't do that. Because then that's going to make a man want to cheat. Just like with a girl. If you hounding a girl, talking about, oh, I know you was with a nigga. I know da 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 woo woo You won't want, make her want to cheat because you're going to be like, I'm not doing nothing. But like, since you keep thinking that I'm doing something, now I'm going to go do something. Don't do that. Because you're not doing nothing but just messing up your relationship and making them not want to be around. Because they like, oh, I'm literally being faithful with this and that woo de woo And you keep saying that. Somebody out here doing something. Now I'm going to go do something. That's just how it is. So at the end of the day, it really is. It's about the respect and all the other stuff I said previously. So.
we as females need to work on us and them as males need to work on them. I ain't saying they perfect either. They need to work on some stuff that I spoke on in this video too. But like I said, it's a girl that asked me about advice on men. So I'm letting y'all know what men don't like and what men do like because... Yeah, we need to fix it. It's 2024, and don't nobody got time to be sitting there playing in relationships, going back and forth, talking about some, oh, well, you need to, I feel like I don't like you going outside. I don't like you going to parties, and y'all still arguing, trying to make it seem like it ain't nothing wrong with going outside. It's something wrong with going outside. If you're in a relationship, I'm saying that I don't care how nobody feel about this. If you feel okay with going outside after your partner just said they don't feel comfortable with you going outside, knowing that you going outside to do whole shit, like go to parties and stuff and shake ass and do all this, that's dead ass wrong. You might as well not even be in a relationship. I don't let you know that right now. You might as well be single. Like, people was out here trying to, some good men, it's actually good men out here. Y'all females just ain't doing the right thing. Y'all just not ready to sit down and actually commit to that man. It's some men that really is actually ready to commit to females out here, but some of the females be hoes. I'm keeping it real. Some females be hoes. I ain't gonna say it's all dudes out here just genuine. No, but if you ain't respecting what y'all got going on, then they gon' they're not gonna take you serious. They're gonna move on to somebody that is gonna respect them. Simple as that. So y'all just need to work on that. All that going outside stuff is dead. We need to be making money. I don't even know why y'all females are still going outside anyway to party. Like that's it's over with. It's over with. Like I'm I'm keeping it real with y'all because that's that's basically how you keep a healthy relationship for real respecting your partner's boundaries number one respecting what they telling you it's number two and just doing your part is the boyfriend or the girlfriend that's how you're gonna keep a healthy relationship and you have to communicate too it's some men out here that won't listen but if they ain't gonna listen to you you gotta make them listen like i ain't gonna say force that man to listen if you don't want to listen cool that ain't the man for you move on but if you really want that situation goes for man and woman sit down and talk to your partner if they saying they don't like something and you dismissing it well i feel like it's cool for me to do this no y'all not gonna have no healthy relationship that's not even gonna last because y'all not listening to what your partner gotta say i'm not saying control your partner i'm not saying do that ladies or gentlemen but i am saying listen to what they gotta say and then speak your side. But other than that, that's all I got to say about men for real. Like, I really ain't got no bad stuff to say. I already told y'all in the other video about men and with us females. So I really ain't got much to say about them. That shit is, I'm just letting y'all know what it is with some of them. Like I said, I ain't a man, so I don't know everything. But... I tried to tell y'all some stuff that I would know. So I hope y'all like this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, join the family. We almost at 3K, something like that. I don't know, 2.5, 3K, one of them. But yeah, I hope y'all like the video. K out.